Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have an HP computer, and this HP laptop here, um, I'll be doing a breakdown, meaning that I will take things apart, and I'll explain to you each of the components, what do they do for, how do you repair them, or how do you upgrade them. So here, I would explain about the hard drive, the motherboard, the battery, the CPU fan, you know, things like that uh, as I go along. So if you have any repair and if you want to do like an upgrade um, hopefully this video would would help you and guide you on how to do that so if you find this video helpful please subscribe click the like button it really helps me to expand my channel at the same time it helps the YouTube to suggest more of my video to other folks out there that who needs help with so uh, please smash the like button and let's get started Alright, so here I have the HP laptop and I like to bring it closer to the camera and show you the model number. This model here is HP 15 DY2021NR. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the, um, the rubber. So this rubber here underneath, they do have um, some screws in it. Okay, so first we need to remove the rubber so this rubber here is to stop the computer from sliding away and it's just pretty much a double-sided adhesive tape on it and once you open it up you should you should see two screws and one gray screw right here bottom here you need to do the same thing go ahead and remove this rubber stopper Alright, so they do have screws, about three screws here. So let's go ahead and remove them. So I did not do a good job that, you know, removing the tape because the, uh, the double sided tape are still glue onto this. So let me go ahead and try my best. So my double tape is still glue onto it. But that's all right. I think the screw was just gonna come stuck in there. That's okay, but I think we can still uh, continue the process of removing the, the cover. Okay, there you go. Alright, so there are three screws at the bottom. Let's go ahead and remove the screws on the top. There are two screws on the side. Okay, so once you have them removed, you want to flip it around. And here is where we're gonna use the prying tool to pry open the keyboard. So I like to start from the corner. So right now I'm not sticking all the way in because you do not want to damage the motherboard that is still inside. I'm just sticking good enough amount to pry the plastic open. If you feel comfortable using a plastic prying tool, you should use that. And let me see. All right, so here's the plastic prying tool. Just to avoid any scratches on the uh, the surface. But if you do not have the plastic prying tool, that's all right. You can just use the metal one, it's fine. But just try not to stick all the way in because you do not want to break 
or damage anything that is inside. Alright, so once you have that plastic removed the cover and here you can see the entire computer. Now there's a RAM that already installed, there are two slots here and this RAM to remove it you want to um, push the two clipper away from each other. So this one I'll be push, pushing to the, away from, from my body and this one I'm pushing towards my body, right? So you push these two and then the, the, the RAM would slide up and pop right up. Here the RAM it says PC4. PC4 meaning that it's a DDR4 RAM and this is a 4 gigs. So 4 gigs, 4 gigs, this computer here is running 8 gigs RAM. But if you want to upgrade 8 and 8, you can go up to 16 or you can go up to 32 gigs RAM. Alright, so this is 4 gigs and 4 gigs. So this is an 8 gigs RAM um, laptop. Alright, so for those of you who wants to do a motherboard replacement and like to know the model number here and I'll be showing it to you here, the model is DAOP or 0P 5HMB8E0 So this is the uh, the laptop motherboard model or you can google this OP5H Alright, so um, I think we should disconnect the battery so let's go ahead and get the Phillips screwdriver. So there are five screws total, and these five screws are holding onto the battery. Now the battery is somewhat kind of like a slide in too. So this is how you slide it in and to remove it you just got to slide away towards your body. So slide towards your body and the battery will just come right out. Here you can see the battery replacement number. Uh, the spare number is L11119-855 or you can look it up this model here which is the HT03XL. Alright, so this is the HP battery replacement model. Here you can see this is your solid state drive, the M.2 NVMe SSD drive. This is where all your operating system is, your data, your information, your hard drive, uh, all the details are stored in this, this, um, this M.2. To remove it, there's only one screw that holds onto it, remove that screw and lift it up a little bit and slide to your right and that's how you remove the uh, M.2 drive. If you want to upgrade I have the link in the description below you can buy the M.2 drive upgrade it to like maybe one terabyte or two terabyte but you do need to buy the Windows 10 USB uh, installer to install the Windows on a new hard drive. Okay, so here is your CPU fan. There's only one here, and this is the cable. To, to open up the cable, you need to lift it up, right? There's no clipper or anything that holds onto the, to the cable. So this is like a Lego, you snap on. To remove it, you're gonna lift it up. And that's how you remove the uh, the cable. And this is your LCD LCD connector. This black clipper you need to lift it up as well. So once it's lift it up straight, and the cable would can just come right out. Okay, so this goes around 
the slot here. Come back to the fan. So there are three screws that's holding onto the fan. So let's go ahead and remove them. And the fan will just come right up. If you want to find a replacement on the fan, go ahead and look this one up. Hopefully it stay focused. Looks like you can't read the number, can you? Okay, right here it says L68134-001. And this is the uh, the fan replacement for this laptop. Here is your heat sink and the CPU is is underneath the heat sink. So if you feel like the computer is overheating, you need to apply a new thermal paste. So you just have to remove the two screws and this heat sink will just come right out. To find a replacement part for the heatsink, the model here is M27755-001. The thermal paste is still wet, meaning that this is you know still good amount of thermal paste here. It's not all dried up, so I'm going to leave it as this. I will be putting back the heatsink after uh, this video. All right, come to the top here. You can see this is your speaker. All right, so this is the the speaker and this is the connector I mean the cable that runs to the other speaker here so to remove the speaker you just have to remove one of the screw here and this one to remove the speaker but let me go ahead and remove the hinge and I'll show it to you the, the remaining of other stuff here so I'll lift the hinge up about 90 degree angle Alright, it looks like the hinge is, they, there must be another screw underneath the Wi-Fi cable because the hinge is very firm, I'm not able to lift it up. Um, I think it's still underneath the, uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at it, okay? So let's remove this plastic cover. I like to label this. This is one, which is the white, it stays at the bottom. And number two is the one that goes above it, the black color. Yep, so there's one screw here for this hinge. You need to remove it in order to lift the hinge up. Okay, so now the hinge stays straight up so this is your speaker uh, you just have to you know lift this connector up and remove the two screws and the whole speaker will just come right out okay so if you want to change the motherboard it's very straightforward now so let's go ahead and remove this cable this is your DG DC jack connector so go ahead and pull it to your right I'm pushing it to my right And the cable this DC jack would would come out without any problem it should come up without any problem okay so this is the DC jack connector that's how you replace it if you want to find a part number it will be listed here I think seven nine nine seven four nine that's the number Okay, this is for your DC jack. And 
this one here is for your keyboard you lift it up open lift the clipper open slide the keyboard out same thing for the touchpad lift it up slide it out I believe this is your um, headphone right for your microphone your headphone jack this is what it is so lift it up and slide the cable out and what I'm gonna do next is to disconnect this speaker cable here and there are screws and these screws are holding onto the motherboard some of them are black some of them are white Once you have all the screws removed, you should be able to just remove the motherboard without any problem. And there you have it. Okay. So for those of you who say you want to remove or replace the keyboard, um, no, you you can't replace the keyboard because the keyboard is all together one piece with this um this one right here with the with the palm rest touchpad everything is one piece together so in other words you would have to replace entirely of this thing uh, for the keyboard replacement so it's not just a keyboard where you can pop it up change it and you're good to go um, you know the way they make it now is just the entire of this you have to replace it all right so i hope that this video helps explain you know you can do an upgrade on a hard drive um, upgrade on the RAM or change the battery you know the battery replacement or change the fan if the fan is not spinning um, yeah so this is the thing how you're gonna tear it down break it apart if you have any question just comment below and again I really appreciate if you can hit the like button and that really helps me to grow my channel uh, please take care if you have any question just comment below until next time I make more of this video for you bye bye